This is yours truly, Mr. Panuka. Uh, beautiful good afternoon it is here at uh, Panuka Farm today. Uh, you can actually see it's uh, very clear, uh, clear skies. Um, so, um, recently we actually did indicate that we'll be migrating uh, from open field, um, you know, production of pepper into uh, shed nets. So, what we actually have in this uh, field is... Um, what I would say almost our last, you know, fields, uh, which we'll be doing in uh, open fields. Um, though it's doing very well, but we'll shortly again show you exactly why we actually migrating from our production of uh, sweet pepper in open uh, field. So um, let's take you around. You see what's happening in this field uh, and also take you to another field that is actually quite battered, um, you know, in terms of open field uh, farming from Sun Scout and, and, and the like. So take along. Um, so that you just appreciate um, uh, this project migration um, that we have here at Panuka Farm. So if you have been an ardent you know, follower of uh, you know, Panuka Farm, uh, you will actually know that uh, we do you know, farm uh, green pepper in open fields and um, the red and yellow pepper, we actually restrict that uh, in the greenhouses. Um, but like we have indicated you know, recently, um, you know, the quality of the green pepper in open field uh, has had quite a lot of issues um, and you actually see uh, shortly uh, some of the issues that we've had um, and so we are on a project uh, called uh, project migration into uh, shed nets uh, for our green pepper uh, production uh, so far we have some very good production here in open field um, but just in the quest to really uh, beef up our you know quality uh, remember the quality quantity and consistency critical issue um, so this is just a portfolio of some of the green pepper that we have uh, in open field. Now, when you do production of um, you know sweet pepper in open field, you actually see um, some of the issues that you have with the fruits, uh, which highly compromise the quality of uh, your produce uh, in terms of size. Uh, also, you know, sun scout. You also have uh, elements of blossom end rot. Of course, that one is a calcium issue. Um, that would also hit, you know, pepper in the uh, greenhouse. But you actually see that uh, you lose quite a lot of, uh, you know, uh, fruits uh, when you actually do production of, uh, you know, sweet pepper in open field. Uh, highly compromised, you know, quality. Um, you know, sometimes you don't have a good, you know, vegetative canopy. So that certainly, you know, compromises, you know, the quality of your produce. So you end up losing around, you know, 40, 30 percent of, uh, you know, your produce, uh, you know, so this is the more reason we are actually, you know, migrating into, um, you know, shed nets to try and, uh, you know, improve, um, you know, our quality. So talking about progress, uh, we just uh, recently, you know, finalized uh, constructing a 450, you know, square uh, meter shed net. Uh, so this is brand new and uh, we have so far already, you know, transplanted, you know, some uh, crops uh, in here. Uh, on the far left, you actually see some sweet pepper that we recently, uh, you know, transplanted, uh, which will be harvested as green. And uh, on the far right here, you actually see some uh, sliced cucumber. Uh, we actually migrated, you know, these sliced cucumbers from, you know, the greenhouses. Uh, apparently, they were too excited in the greenhouses, getting all leafy. And so we have, uh, you know, brought them into the shed net to keep them in check in terms of their, you know, vegetative growth. So this is the 450 square meter, um, you know, uh, shed net that uh, we finished. So this shed net was actually put together by, you know, our own stuff in-house. Um, so it's pretty easy to put together uh, a shed net. You actually get some very good, you know, uh, production. Uh, so something that you could consider. And so here we have another, you know, shed net. This is the oldest shed net that we have on the farm. Apparently, this was, uh, you know, a product of a failed DIY, you know, greenhouse mission. Uh, but then we had to convert this into a shed net. Uh, so the width is, uh, you know, 10 meters and then the length is uh, 40. So that is 400 square meters altogether, 14 lines. So we are able to, you know, put in about 2,000, you know, plants uh, in here. So that's quite a lot. Actually, it's actually bigger than any of our greenhouses in terms of just, uh, you know, uh, you know, capacity. Um, so again, this is uh, the kind of structure that you could actually put together, you know, in-house, uh, provided you just get some very good net. Um, the net that we have in here, both uh, on the sides and the top, very durable. We've had this now heading into three years. 
so that's the value of having um, some very you know durable uh, you know material on the farm. Um, so again, here we have some sweet pepper, and previously it's actually done you know very well uh, in here. Uh, so it's uh, a tried and tested you know uh, migration. We know exactly the kind of quality that we get uh, in these shed nets. Uh, so it's not an experiment. <laughs> okay. So let's look at the other bigger, you know, shed net that we're putting together. Uh, and here we are. Uh, so here we have uh, a 2,000, you know, square meter shed net that's under construction. Um, so that will bring the total, you know, shed net capacity to around 2,850 uh, by about July. Okay. So we will certainly update you when we are done. So have a lovely one from Mr. Panuka. Bye-bye.